What is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm hopefully going to be teaching you guys how to get 1,000 subscribers in one month. Now, I know if you're a new channel starting off, this number sounds huge and I'm not promising anything. This is not a sure way of getting 1,000 subscribers in one month, but this is definitely a way to start your channel off and make it look a little bit better and just give it an overall more professional look to it. So first thing you want to do before we talk about anything else. I want you to go to your channel on a separate tab of course or after this video and look at your home page and if it's anything like what I've seen in the past a lot is that this channel has no content that is the number one thing I see on a home page and to most people that means you don't have videos but then you have to go to the video tab and that's whenever you're going to start seeing your videos so make sure your home page is very clean very nice and at least has something so before we get any further into this video I want to tell you guys I am going to have a follow-up video to this and really what that's going to be is I need you if you need help with YouTube let me know down below don't say hey come subscribe to me say hey will you help me out with my channel Will you look at my channel? Do do something like that. Do not say, hey, come and subscribe to me because I will not click your link. I will not go and look at your YouTube channel. But whenever you guys say that, I'm hoping to be able to look at all of the people that have done that and make a second video and share your channel and tell people live what you should do to fix your channel. So the biggest thing with making or gaining a thousand subscribers in one month is that you need a lot of videos now I do say one month but I'm gonna give us an extra month as a productivity month so there's a few ways you can do this to get yourself started out on YouTube you can take my route and really just upload every single day for a month and that'll give you 30 videos or less next or the alternative to that is instead of uploading for a month and this will push that one month mark back a little bit it'll, it'll turn out to be about two productivity months take a full month and just make videos record do what you do make a ton of videos in one month and upload them all at one time now I'm not saying that is the best thing to do but that is definitely a way to flood the system with your videos but do keep in mind whenever you do that I would say over half of them will not hit sub box so the subscribers you do have will probably only get notified about two or three and the rest are history you know people are gonna have to search those up so I would definitely recommend the everyday approach and possibly even two every day because why it takes so long to grow subscribers whenever you're a small channel is because you don't have a lot of videos I think I'm pushing 300 or maybe 400 right now and that means that I have a ton of videos out there and they span across a ton of topics so anytime that someone searches it up I have a relevant video to whatever topic they're trying to search up and that's really what you're trying to do on YouTube is make sure you've covered every topic possible make multiple videos on a single topic just make sure that you get seen by someone that's searching up a topic next up is back to the whole entire YouTube layout I'm not gonna go too far into this but make sure you're actually doing thumbnails that you know it's not the biggest deal if you don't do thumbnails but really when a thumbnail needs to be eye-catching or brand recognition kinda like mine like my thumbnails pretty much all look the same except I change the color out every month and what that does is people scroll down they're like oh look there's an Aaron one one video let's watch it so that's you know that's really why I do that so back to the one month thing how to get a thousand subscribers in one month what you need to do is whenever you're making your videos find relevant topics don't make a video called me playing black ops 3 I mean if black ops 3 just came out yesterday or today that might be a relevant topic but now no one really cares about you playing black ops 3 you need to make something kinda like uh, you can go and look at some of my videos I don't do them all the time because I think it's it's kinda cheap to do them all the time but you do need to do them and they do need to have a, a good mixture around you really need to upload whenever they're relevant such as like Treyarch announcing modded zombies I literally hopped on that 30 minutes after they announced it and it was up and 
all kinds of stuff like that. And sometimes I miss the boat. Like I uploaded a uh, an Easter egg tutorial like two weeks or three weeks after the map's been out. But that is like it it is a big kind of thing to release something as soon as it's out. Um, I mean, I should have done something with the Elgato HD 60s, but I just completely skipped over that. I was like, you know what? Elgato's Elgato. People are going to get what they want. I might still do one. And that's then again, I'm telling you, I'm late sometimes to this, but you really do need to stay relevant. Now, the subscriber part is a hard thing to do. I can't really tell you how to make someone subscribe because I kind of have a hard time subscribing. I mean, I've watched a handful of YouTubers for years for a very, very, before I even did YouTube. And I haven't subscribed to like half of them. And I know that's such a bad thing, but I'm sure there's a few of you watching right now that haven't even subscribed to me and you've probably been watching my daily uploads. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, but just getting your name out there and flooding YouTube with a ton of videos are going to get more people to come in. And the more videos you have, the more and the broader the audience is that can find it, and then they will subscribe to you. So, a thousand subscribers in one month basically comes down to you having a lot of videos out. And not always. I mean, you could upload one video that gets a million views, but, you know, that's who, who does that? Who uploads their first video and gets a million views? So, maybe this helped you a little bit, and I'm going to tell you something here in the end. One or zero subscribers to 100 is a very big leap. And it took me, I'm looking at my stats right now, it took me from 2011 to 2000 and almost 13. Or it was at the beginning of 2000 until it was about the end of 2012. I got 100 subscribers. So a year, it took me one year to get. 100 subscribers this video is about getting a thousand in one month so one year to get a hundred and then the next hundred came a little bit quicker and a little bit quicker and then the first thousand I got in 2015 uh, just this past summer I mean it was July of 2015 I got 1,000 subscribers and here I am almost a year later and I've almost gained, well, I have gained 5,000 more. I've almost gained 6,000 more than what I had in July. So big difference. And, you know, people, people don't understand that YouTube is a linear scale. That means, you know, it's very slow in the beginning. you slow to get 100. And it's a little bit faster to get 1,000. And then you just kind of start going up. And then it gets to a point where you plateau and it's a flat line. You keep what you have for a little bit and then it keeps going up and maybe it goes down. But the linear scale is there. The more views you have, the more subscribers you have. And the only way to get more views instead of just uploading one video that gets a million views is to have multiple videos. So in total, all you need to do is upload every single day or close enough, make enough videos that you can flood YouTube, get your name out there, and hopefully you guys will be able to have 1,000 subscribers in one month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Peace.